What's going on, y'all? So, this nigga Cowboy, I guess that's his internet name, I guess. But this nigga Thundercat, though, right? Nick, big homie. Nigga out here testifying like a Christian at 3 o'clock service, nigga. Cause wrong. Nigga, when you sit over there, you understand me and sign up for this lifestyle, bro. One of the main things that is told to you. Speaking of vernacular silence. When trouble arises. And then I heard a little bit on the, on the WAC 100 how he was trying to justify why he did it. Oh, you're wrong. You weren't supposed to do that. I know six old niggas got a problem with that. And from this recent event, you would not be inducted into the Six O Hall of Fame. <laughs> you was wrong, bro. There ain't no justification for this shit, bro. You supposed to speak in a vernacular of silence at all times, my nigga. You hopping on a stand. I don't give a fuck what you thought your reasoning was for. You was wrong. Nigga, you are considered a rat. And then you had the nerve to sit over there and hop on the clubhouse to talk to another rat to explain why you did what you did. And the reason why Wack ain't crucify you is because he is one himself. And Wack 100 would not be going into the Pacoma Paru Hall of Fame. <laughs> so, you know, you got one rat talking to another rat justifying why they ratted. I don't give a fuck. You should have said shit. Nigga, you done been in it. You done been in this motherfucking shit for I don't know how long. You know what time it is. And I'm pretty sure in your lifetime, you done sit over there and call other niggas out about them ratting and you know what I'm saying? You done sit over there, you know what I mean? At least I would hope that you try to deal with some shit accordingly. But now look at you. Testify. Having a testimony. You out of line. You should have never took that. You should have never opened up your motherfucking mouth. You should have never even got up on that motherfucker. You just like Bosco. That nigga Bosco should have never sitting over there nigga got into this shit. He would not be inducted into the Queen Street Hall of Fame, nigga. How the fuck you gonna sit over there? I don't give a fuck. Your, your career was over, nigga. Before it even started. But we're not talking about Bosco. We're talking about this nigga. And with this nigga, there's no justification for it. So you deserve the consequences for your actions, nigga. I know he was on some fuck shit when I seen this nigga sit over there, you understand me, and came on, um, was it No Jumper with that, uh, that blue and red bandana jacket? I seen like a little clip of it. I knew he was on some fuck shit. And it was just something about that nigga that has never seemed right to me. And I guess it's the reason why. You know, niggas want to talk about all this OG shit. And no, nah, nigga. Nah. As soon as you signed up for this, you live and die by this. You chose to go against this shit. People may disagree with this lifestyle, so the fuck what? This is your lifestyle that you signed up for. So you need to sit over there and apply yourself to this lifestyle, and you didn't. So you have to suffer the consequences. Will he suffer the consequences? Probably not. I don't know what niggas got planned on, but yeah, you wrong cuz I don't give a fuck. If you had just the best explanation on the man, you still wrong. 
because we don't play by the rules like other niggas do. And you know that. But y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We out.